From the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world, this is a Cube Conversation. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman coming to you from our Boston area studio, and this is a special Cube Conversation. Have a special announcement from our friends at Commvault. So welcome back to the program. We have two of our Cube alumni. First, we have Manoj Nair. He's actually the general manager of Metallic, which is a Commvault venture. Uh, first time, Manoj, on the program uh, in your role uh, with, with Commvault. Welcome back. And okay, also, welcoming back uh, Renga Rajagopalan, who's the vice president of products at Commvault. Renga, caught up with you uh, recently at the, at the Future Ready event uh, that we had over the summer. Uh, thanks so much for joining us again. Sure. All right. So, Manoj, let, let, let's start. Metallic uh, obviously was, you know, the standout, you know, thing that everybody talked about last year at Commvault Go, uh, really helping uh, to, you know, put uh, Commvault clearly into the SaaS marketplace out there, talking about how, uh, you know, all, all the wonderful uh, features for managing my data in a cloud environment. So, there's an expansion uh, to the portfolio that we're announcing today. Why don't you share the news? Yeah, absolutely, Stu. Uh, you know, uh, it's great to be back here with uh, all of you. And uh, you know, Metallic has come a long way from uh, the launch just uh, less than a year ago. Uh, we, we announced uh, the creation of Metallic, uh, multiple different offerings, uh, whether it's protecting SaaS workloads like O365, uh, remote uh, endpoints, and uh, hybrid cloud workloads. Uh, you know, the context uh, that we're getting from our customers, especially in the last six months, uh, increased cloud adoption and um, you know remote working uh, collaboration suites being adopted. Uh, all of that uh, you know has, uh, has been a great accelerator for uh, adoption of SaaS data protection, which is really what uh, Metallic is offering. Uh, we have gone to global countries and uh, and expanded to our Commvault customer base, uh, who is you know using both Commvault uh, software and Metallic now. Uh, one of the key things that we're not, you know, today's announcement is focused on uh, Metallic Cloud Storage Service that uh, is a new service available for Commvault customers who are looking to uh, get a, you know, fully managed, secure cloud-based uh, target for protecting uh, all of the data uh, as an air gap copy. And this is, you know, it's more relevant than ever. So, Manoj, using the cloud uh, for, for data protection for backup isn't new. Renka, help us understand. I, I heard in there air gap. I heard you know leveraging the cloud. Absolutely, we've seen a a, a, a huge tailwind for cloud adoption. Um, but th there's that gap for making sure customers you know protect their data, secure their data. Do they have the skill set to be able to leverage that? So help help us drill in and understand what what's different about th this new service. Yeah, right, it's true. Uh, cloud is absolutely not new, but what is really unique about today's announcement with Metallic Cloud Storage Service is that we are bringing cloud even closer to our Commvault customers. So thinking from a data management perspective, our customers want to more easily and securely get the benefits of cloud storage. What we are doing today is integrating Metallic Cloud Storage Service as a cloud storage target into our Commvault software as well as our hyperscale X uplines. And that lets our customers to seamlessly use cloud storage for their data protection, backup, and archival use cases uh, without needing to understand a lot about the cloud, without needing to get through any of the complexities. Think of it as the easy button that is now introduced into the Commvault software and hyperscale X. All right, so if I heard you right, this is a managed service that, that, that Commvault is offering. Did, did I get that right? <laughs> That's correct. Yes. So, you know, uh, it's it's a, it's a managed service. Uh, it's public cloud storage. It's uh, as Ranga said, the easy button uh, to be able to you know create your air gap copies in the cloud. And you know, with, with everything that we keep hearing about ransomware, uh, you know, we believe this is one of the, the the most important steps in ransomware readiness. A lot of our customers are already doing it by bringing their own cloud storage on you know all the clouds we protect. Uh, but it's still not easy. And uh, there's a skills gap, um, you know, the procurement process and all of that, you know, the management of the credentials, the setting up of the networking, all of that is encapsulated. So now it's just, you know, it's like a built-in feature. Just, you know, plug it in and now you got an on-ramp to the cloud. Uh, make sure you have your air gap copy. 
Yeah, maybe it would help you to talk about the easy button. Give us a little compare contrast because, right, I could go, I could spin up instance of the cloud, but uh, you know, who has access? What are the security settings? There's a whole litany of things uh, that I need to make sure I've got the right identity management. It's kind of easy, but not necessarily simple uh, to, to, to be able to do that. So, um, uh, from what you're describing, I don't even need to really think, you know, yes, it's in the cloud, I'm leveraging all the wonderful things of the cloud, but I don't have to have that that ramp up of skill set if I don't already have that in house. Is it, Renga, it sounds like uh, I, yeah. I'm understanding that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you're perfectly understanding it as always too. And, and let me expand on the TC button, right? Um, for us, simplicity is end-to-end -end customer experience. So I'm, I'm going to break this down from a customer lifecycle perspective. Think of a Commvault customer who's backing up pretty much all the workloads in the data center. The first question they have is, you know, for security reasons, for PCO, because I'm in a transformation project, I need to make, I need to start using cloud storage. So the first complexity they would face is understanding which cloud provider to use, what kind of cloud profile to use, go through that cloud purchasing model, which is very different from how they normally procure their hardware and software. So that's really the first dimension of simplicity where through this metallic cloud storage service offer, our customers can procure that cloud storage along with any other Commvault software and hardware, just like they would do any other Commvault software. So that, that, that's the first level of simplicity. The second one is, how do I bring that into my data management life cycle? There again, as I mentioned before, MCSS is fully integrated into Commvault software. So through the simplicity of command center, which is the one UI that brings all our products together, customers can just click to the cloud storage target and start backing up, moving copies, archiving, doing all the data management use cases, the second dimension of simplicity. And the third one really is the predictability. You know, cloud is beautiful, it brings a lot of flexibility, but it also brings in a lot of new terms. What are my egress charges? What does ingress mean? What does egress mean? What happens when I have to restore? What happens when I have to recover? So all that complexity is taken away. We handle all of that in the back end. From the customer's perspective, just like they use tip, just like they use disk, now they can use cloud. We handle all the egress and all those kind of uh, stuff in the back end. From the customer's perspective, they get a simple, predictable price point. So from the time of choosing it, procuring it, using it, and continuously getting the best benefits out of it, the EC button extends across that entire dimension. And the beauty in all of this is customers getting all the benefits of cloud without having to really understand much about cloud. So that's that's really the benefit we bring to the table with NCSS. Yeah. Uh M Manoj, uh, Commvault has a long history of being able to live on you know, various infrastructures that customers have. Are, are you able to share who the, uh, I'm assuming there's a cloud partner uh, for, for part of this, so who, who is the, the underlying uh, IaaS? Yeah, so uh, Stu, so, you know, in the uh, end of June, we announced a next phase of our strategic partnership with Microsoft. So this is a, uh, you know, one of the first big new things that is coming out of the giant partnership between uh, Commvault and Microsoft around Metallic and uh, Microsoft Azure. Uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, we're jointly doing that are unique that make all of the simplicity Ranga, uh, you know, just mentioned uh, come to life. And, uh, you know, that that's, you know, power of the end, as I call it, it's uh, Commvault and Metallic and Microsoft uh, you know, uh, coming together to make this really easy for our customers to start, uh, you know, getting the value out of uh, uh, leveraging cloud for for their data protection. Yeah, well, Manoj, it seems a natural extension of what what you've already talked about for what Metallic can protect. Of course, you've got the you know the business suite from Microsoft. Can can you help frame it for us? Uh, you know, where, where this new the MCSS fits in the Metallic portfolio today. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So if you look at, uh, you know, how, what uh, I'll give you a customer journey and what's been happening. Uh, uh, if you are not a Commvault customer today and you're looking at uh, what's my best uh, O365 data protection option, um, you go to Microsoft.com, you'll actually find Metallic uh, in there as their recommended offer. Uh, and they, they might start the journey there or you're an existing Commvault customer and you start rapidly adopting Teams and O365, you know, post COVID, uh, they, they, you know, Metallic is the default option. So it doesn't matter how you enter in, you're now getting a, a full, you know, SaaS actual backup as a service, no storage costs, 
no egress costs. And so our Commonwealth customers have been asking, we love that part of it. Why not make that available for all of the other data that is being protected by Commonwealth, either appliance or software on-prem? And you know, in, in a very simple way, it's uh, you know the best things are driven by customers. And uh, in this case, our customers came to us and said, we love, love the simple button, not just what's included in the metallic service. Uh, we would like that to be available uh, even for uh, you know, uh, your, the existing software you're protecting on-prem for the air gap copy use case uh, is kind of the biggest one. Uh, and, you know, all the things that Ranga said in terms of simplicity now comes to bear. And uh, it's something that we were including inside the metallic SaaS offerings. Now it's available for software and appliance customers. Yeah, it, it, it definitely. I, I've 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 heard in the industry now. Microsoft seems a little bit more amenable to uh, you know not charging for egress, uh, which uh, with with some of their partners when they can put together these solutions. Uh, Ringa, uh, Manoj has mentioned uh, air gap a couple of times. Can you help us frame you know what that means today? Uh, you know, I even think back. You know, tape. Uh, most people are familiar with. Even I, I think about you know Google. You know, used tape for many years. Uh, even in the public cloud uh, to, to give that air gap. Of course, we've talked to your customers lots about how to protect for, against ransomware. So yeah. um, how, do, how does this fit in the new solution? You know, unfortunately, Stu, today, um, it's it's an important reality for us to discuss ransomware readiness. Number of attacks are going up depending on you know whichever source uh, you're listening to. So security is a very important concern in top of our customers' minds. Now, MCSS is cloud storage, so it is offsite storage, so it comes with all the natural layered security that it is built in, that is built into cloud storage. Additionally, Commvault brings a complete ransomware detection, protection, and recovery framework, uh, which becomes inherently available with uh, MCSS. And let me explain that in a few very simple points. Now, the entire um, journey from on-prem to the cloud storage um, is completely encrypted. So that's you know a very important part of the uh, overall security mechanism. But here is where it really becomes cool. Commvault software is managing the cloud credentials, the cloud keys. So the entire access to MCSS as a cloud storage target is managed by Commvault. So there isn't an independent cloud admin accessing that storage, which opens it up for any kind of unintentional or unintentional access. Anything can happen when uh, you have that access. So Commvault completely manages that access. The keys are owned by the customer, but managed by uh, Commvault. So it's it's a really air gap uh, security, layered security mechanism that you get in combination with the entire framework of air gap isolation, anomaly detection, the four eyes authentication, everything that is built into the Commvault framework. Right. So when you when you bring in the simplicity that we talked about earlier. You can apply that to the security angle as well here. Instead of making the customer manage yet another piece in that jigsaw, we are managing it for them. So from their perspective, it is a seamless extension to their data management strategy, while it also adds an uh, extra layer of security and um, readiness to recover from ransomware attacks. While it's being launched today, we already have customers that have, you know, well, we have accelerated into adoption of MCSS, and it's coming exactly for the scenarios Ranga just said. Uh, you know, they they have uh, a requirement for a cloud copy. Uh, we've seen that on the metallic SaaS side that some of the customers might be in pilot mode, and uh, because they were in pilot mode, they were quickly able to recover from attacks that happened. Unfortunately, uh, those those things are reality, and we have had customers who after the attack go and say, I want to make sure I'm, it's much more easier to recover from that. And so we already have our first customers who are starting to adopt the service as, even as we launch it today. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you brought up the customer examples. Uh, Manoj, give us a little bit, just the, the, the high level view. Uh, you talked about the, the growth and adoption of, of Metallic overall. Ringa just talked about the, kind of the, the single management you got any stats for us? You know, how much data do you have in the cloud now? And you know, what's the growth looking like? And talk a little bit about you know what we can expect going forward from this portfolio. Yeah, you know, we you know, I don't know how many people uh, uh, disclosed this or not, but we have disclosed it in the past. We we have over an exabyte of data today in the cloud that you know our customers are uh, you know either using uh, you know Metallic or bringing their own cloud with Commvault. 
and writing to the cloud. Um, so, you know, that's probably, uh, you know, best in class out there. Uh, what we are also seeing is uh, the, the acceleration of that, you know, so we look at it, you know, it's exponential growth, over 100%, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing that that rise in, in, in leverage. Yet it's uh, something that when you look at the overall, you know, industry percentages, it depends on whose uh, stats you use, it's probably only 5% to maybe 10% that are leveraging the cloud for anything, whether it's, uh, you know, in this case, it's, uh, uh, data, cloud data as a secondary target. Uh, so there's a lot of untapped potential and the, the things that Ranga said, I think really are the ones our customers are telling us as we tested this out. Uh, those are the biggest reasons, right? Cost, you know, I'm concerned about it. I've heard that it's unpredictable. It goes up, people start spinning up other things that they shouldn't be. And so I want predictable costs, um, you know, security and the whole model around it, you know, the, the governance of the, the keys. And finally, the skills. Um, everyone's busy. No, no one's trying to not be, you know, uh, upping their cloud skills. Yet it's not something that is very, you know, very easy for most people uh, to, you know, become an expert. And if you're not an expert while you're protecting your data, that's not, you know, that's not something you want to do. So you kind of hold back. And I think this is really the biggest thing that customers are looking at, like our cloud expertise packaged in an offering, sol solving all those things. And Stu, we discussed this at Future Ready of how the Commvault portfolio continues to come closer and closer together in order to deliver that increased value to our customers. Um, in July, when we were having a similar conversation, we saw how Hedwig came in as the scale out storage in our Hyperscale X um, integrated data protection appliance. Now you can see that we have Metallic Cloud Storage Service coming in as a cloud extension to our software as well as Hyperscale X. So it, it's kind of bringing the best of both worlds. Um, customers who want to continue to um, stay on-prem, protect their on-prem workloads with non-prem footprint, you have Hyperscale X as a very nice scale-out integrated appliance. And as the capacity needs increase, as the security needs increase, you have MCSS now as a managed storage extension, um, bringing together those pieces of the portfolio. Another thing that is now available already as of September 15th is our ability to manage Metallic as part of Command Center. So while you want that SaaS flexibility and you're using Metallic to protect the SaaS workloads, let's also realize that there are a bunch of other workloads that you might be protecting using Commvault software or through Hyperscale. We can now bring all of them together into the simplicity of Command Center. So it again takes away another point of complexity for the customer. Just one UI, go ahead, do protect the workloads the way you want, with the form factor you want, SaaS, software, or appliance, and we bring it all together into a single management framework for you. So you're going to continue seeing the portfolio coming closer and closer together because our mantra is to provide flexibility of choice to customers. Flexibility of choice in so many different ways. You know, you can use software, appliance, or SaaS. You can bring your own on-prem storage, cloud storage, or if you want to hit the simple button, use metallic cloud storage service. So you're going to see that happen as we move forward. Well, Manoj, Ranga, thank you so much uh, for the updates. Congratulations on the launch. Uh, love the little tagline leading it. We're, we're, we're making the cloud just a little bit closer to us. It so, is, it is. Thanks, thanks. A lot closer. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Stuart, for your time. Thank you. I'm Stu Miniman. Thank you so much for watching theCUBE.